Formation of spits, part of the LXL GCSE 9 to 1 geography course. Okay, so the keywords you're going to have to know for this are spits, deposition, longshore drift, wind direction, hook, salt marsh, estuary, tombolo, islands, bar, bay. Okay, so here's your diagram. Okay, often you can get away with explaining how a spit is formed with one diagram. Okay, so the key points for the first part of the um, diagram and that longshore drift transports the sediment along the coastline. So this is shown by the red arrows here. Okay, often when you're showing longshore drift, you see solid arrow for your um, uh, swash, and then your dotted arrow for your backwash to make it clear, and then annotate it as well to uh, make sure that the examiner knows that you know that this is longshore drift. Okay, when there is no more land, the waves lose energy. Okay, and when the swash is more powerful than the backwash, the sediment is deposited. Okay, so the, no more land here. Okay, swash is going to be more. Uh, it's going to be stronger than the backwash. Okay, and over time, this uh, sediment accumulates as a ridge out to sea. So it's going to get deposited here. Okay, and it's going to accumulate as a spit out to sea. Okay, and so this uh, accumulation is a spit. Okay, so it's a depositional landform spit. So you've got the same diagram here, you've got different annotations, okay. When the direction of wind changes, a hook is created, okay. So this bit here is the hook. So you're going to label the wind direction on your diagram as well. So you've got the direction of prevailing wind and secondary wind direction, okay. So when it goes from the direction of prevailing wind to the secondary wind direction, that's going to create a hook, okay. The flow of the estuary is too strong and has too much energy for the sediment to be deposited here. So the estuary comes along here, okay, and say uh, the, you've got the sediment coming along here. It's not going to get deposited here. The estuary is too strong. It's got too much energy for the uh, sand and sediment to get deposited here. Okay, so this stops the growth of the spit. So sediment is being transported elsewhere. So say even if it does try and uh, deposit the yeah, sediment here, the estuary is just going to carry it out to sea. Okay, so behind the spit, the sand is protected and sheltered. So this area here, you're not going to have any uh, new water coming in as the uh, it's kept away, it's sheltered. Okay, so this allows salt marsh to develop here. Salt marsh, I've shown this diagram as bits of grass. Always label your diagram, guys, remember that. Okay. So this allows the salt marsh to develop. In salt marsh, rare and endangered animals can nest and plants can grow. Okay, so you're going to have rare endangered animals growing in here. Okay, so often they're protected under wildlife laws, salt marsh. Okay, so a named example is Spurn Head on the Holderness coastline. Okay, if you want to know more about the Holderness coastline, you can watch my other video about that. Okay, but it's near Hull on the Humber estuary. Okay, so you can see here, this is the spit, it's coming off the land, okay, and you can see the wind direction's changed here, okay, and that's caused um, a hook, as you see on this diagram here, okay, you've got the hook here, okay, and as you see, where well, you've got this slightly different coloured uh, sea, that is the salt marsh here, so it's behind the spit. You've got the salt marsh occurring, okay. And as you can see it on this map here, here's Spoon Head, got the hook there, and that there is where that salt marsh is going to be, okay. So Tombolo, okay, it's similar to a spit, but it's connected to an island, okay. So it connects the island to the mainland, okay. So a great named example of this is Chessel Beach, okay. And it connects the island of Portland to the Dorset coast, okay. A bar. So a bar is another type of spit, or another type of depositional landform, okay, where a spit connects the two headlands of a bay, creating a lagoon. So this is the lagoon, lagoon here, okay, you've got a headland here, you've got a headland here, okay, and you've got the bar connecting them, okay. So a named example of this is Slapton Lay Bar in Devon. 